Hello, my name is Charlie, and here I will be showing off a little game I'm working on called Waste Work. Uh, this is being made in Godot. Uh, it's a low poly short adventure game where you play a sewage worker. Uh, on your shift, clearing gunk out of uh, the local sewer system. Uh, pretty simple mechanics. This is a f flashlight. Got a little bit of slowdown right now. I'm still working on. I haven't. I haven't gone into optimization yet. I'm still trying to figure out how this game looks and, and feels. Uh, yeah, you got your flashlight. Illuminate darker areas. A water hose. Uh, and this water stream, basically, I don't know if you can see on the right hand side, your water pressure is going down as well as your water supply, so now you see it's spurting out as the compressor tries to catch up, I can let it fill up. Uh, and I have it set up so once you get, so right now, if I start spraying, I'll go back down to zero, but there's a threshold and a, that will most likely be an audio cue uh, that lets you know that it's ticked over and you can just, oh, I'm out of water. Uh, once you tick over a certain amount, you can just hold down and the compressor will keep the tank full of air. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm just, I'm trying to make it fun so but still include this kind of cooldown. So if you're not paying attention, you can end up in a situation where you're out of juice. Um, and yeah, and so for now, textures are pretty simple. I don't know how, I don't want to go too much into detail uh, with my texturing. That's, ooh, for some reason, his helmet. Oh, I know why. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble. It turns, if you, if you set any material to have transparency, like their glasses, you can see that there. Uh, the glasses, I wanted the lenses to have a little bit of a refraction effect, uh, but instead of making them a separate, the lenses a separate uh, piece, I tried to make it all together, and then I threw the glasses texture onto the uh, UV for the helmet, which made the helmet also transparent, so I need to I need to change that. I, I'm trying to, to to make this game run nicely. That's kind of the, the goal, is to see how much water and junk I can have on screen before things start to become unplayable. Um, mainly because I like I, I have a big a big project I'm trying to do that's that's lo loosely based on, on this and takes place in the same world. Um, so yeah, this is it. I don't know, I'm... All of this is very placeholder, and, and I'm just trying to see how things look, and doing a bunch of different tutorials. Um, yeah, so, and what I'll do, I'll, I'll share the tutorials I used to make the water in the uh, description here. I'm not 100% satisfied with it, but I think it's got a decent enough effect. It, I mean, it reads as water, that's all I kind of wanted. And I'm trying to, again, like keep frame rate up. Right now, I can keep it at 30 to 60. Uh, and right now, I'm running in a window uh, at 1080p. And the second I turn that flashlight on, I jump down. Actually, it's not so bad now. If the game is full screen, it definitely takes a much bigger hit. Uh, but also, like, keep in mind right now, it's it's loading up everything from the start. I don't have, uh, I haven't got into, uh, clearing away unused objects or things that aren't visible, and I'm not even sure where to start with that, so I'm still doing a little bit of research on it. Um, yeah, what else can I say about this? I don't, I don't want to give too much away, because it's such a short game. Uh, I figure the next update I do will be mostly uh, on visuals and I might go into show off some of the other animations. Alright, uh, thanks for watching.
and uh, talk to you guys soon.